Yo, 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 what's up everyone, it's Patrick, and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll be showing you where to collect the three pieces of evidence needed for Operation Red Circus. The first one can be found in the mission Brick in the Wall. When you break into Krause's apartment, follow the hallway towards the living room, but watch out for his wife. She's usually in this room talking on the phone. Take out a tranquilizer gun, shoot her with it, pick up her body and put it on the couch. The evidence can be found in the corner of the room closest to where you entered from. There's a vent here. Open the vent and it should be in there. Here's the thing, I said should because after doing some research, there's other locations where you might find it. Luckily, they're all in this apartment. The other two common locations are upstairs. The first one, you make an immediate left at the top of the stairs, which will take you into his bedroom, and it's in his bedside drawer. The second one is in his office, which is this room, and is on the desk. The second piece of evidence can be found in the mission Echoes of a Cold War. In this mission, you play as Mason and basically make your way around a mountain with woods. You take out a few guards along the way, and you get to a building with a giant hole in the side of it. Uh, you should probably take out all the guards around that building as well. Once they're cleared out, you can either jump down or zip line down just because it's cooler. From there, you can jump down to a lower level or take the stairs to the left like a normal person, and the evidence will be on this table right here. The third and final piece of evidence can be found in the mission Desperate Measures. This is a tricky one because I know for a fact it actually can be in different locations. The first location is in the war room. By the way, if you don't know where any of these locations are, if you press right on your directional pad, it'll pull up a map of the entire building with the names of each room. But anyways, uh, you do have to pick a lock to get in here. Just watch out for the one guard that patrols this hallway. And actually take him out and hide his body in a closet in the bathroom, which is right next to the war room. Or you can easily pick the lock when he turns to walk towards the other end of the hallway. The war room is not a very big room, you can find it on the desk right here, and you probably want to get out right away. There's another guard posted up outside the window, and he looks in the room shortly after you first enter with a flashlight. The second location can be found in the records room. Watch out for the guard inside, you probably want to take him out, and it can be found at the desk right here. The third common location requires you to go downstairs, and when you reach the bottom of the stairs, there's a vent nearby, open the vent, crouch down and you'll be able to navigate around this floor unseen which is helpful because this whole area is basically restricted just follow where I'm going right now to get to a room full of cubicles now when you're in this room I would recommend staying crouched down this area as you can very easily be spotted otherwise when you're crouched down you can easily just hide behind the cubicles also be careful before coming out of the vent as there's a guard immediately to your left he won't necessarily be looking at you but he is there if you want you can take him out first if you're gonna do that once you take him out go back to the entrance of the vent real quick it's just easier to give directions from here assuming you just came out of the vent though or at least let's act like you did you go straight make the last left at the end and the evidence will be on this desk right here to the left also at the end of that path assuming you kept going straight there's another guard in the corner to your right he'll be able to see you if you go to grab the evidence so maybe you want to take him out first although you could just do it fast so that's the three locations and it is possible that the evidence is not in one of the three those are just the most common ones and as i said i found it myself in two of the three locations my very first playthrough i actually didn't find it in any of them and the best tips i could find for myself after doing some research on it was make sure you search every little corner which i don't know if you noticed this but this building is huge i did try to search every little corner but i had no luck I ended up restarting the mission and found it in the war room, so what's the point of me telling you this? If you don't find it in one of the three places I showed you, I would honestly recommend restarting the mission and trying again, just because that's what I did. Anyways, that's going to end this video. Hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to complete the puzzle prior to starting the mission. I'll probably link it somewhere on screen or in the description, but anyways, catch you later. Peace.